Welcome back Neon Nation, today we look at the vehicles we can expect in Cyberpunk 2077. From aerodynes to superbikes to hovercrafts and power armors, there are quite a few vehicles in the world of Cyberpunk that we haven't seen or heard about yet. Vehicles are 2077's answer to horses in The Witcher and will help us save time when traveling from point A to point B. Of course, you can do everything by foot and really soak in Night City, but sometimes you need to be somewhere quick and without the threat of a gang rolling up on you. CDPR has stated in the past that the game will feature incredibly complex vehicles, planes, bikes, and robots. First up, let's look at supercars. These will probably be the staples of transportation in Night City and 2077's equivalent to Roach, your trusty steed from the Witcher series. Now the supercar we've seen thus far is the Quadra VTEC, a sleek black vehicle that runs on the super fuel of the future, Chu 2. We know in the game we can steal cars, so maybe this means we can jump in between supercars as we so choose. We can also see a heavily armored Militech cruiser, a couple limousine styled cars, with one being an armored variant belonging to Dex Deshawn. We do also see some additional supercars on billboard ads and in magazines. Now inside the cockpit of the Quadra, we actually see three pedals, which could mean it's a manual transmission car. This could mean that driving requires shifting, although I think for simplicity's sake, we'll most likely just be driving it like an automatic. Now in the world of cyberpunk, at least in 2020, professional racing has increased in popularity due to it being bigger, faster, and more dangerous. During races, top speeds average 400 miles per hour and bring about accidents and fatalities, which the Night City crowd loves. Cars like the 2017 Chevy Harpy, the Lamborghini Wolf, and the 2020 Bell Quicksilver are some of the most aggressive racing cars in Night City, and they aren't cheap. Next up, we have Aerodynes. We've seen three or four between the teaser trailer and gameplay demos so far, from the police's sleek black Aerodyne, to Trauma Team's ship with all the high-tech patient care equipment on board, to Militech's Airbus, a bigger brother to the Aerodyne, used for dropping personnel and troops. We also see what looks similar to the police's AV in the E3 trailer, although it could just be someone's personal flying vehicle. We also get a glance at a red Aerodyne owned by a corporate executive that we see in the trailer, as well as in the demo outside V's apartment. Now CDPR has stated we won't be able to fly Aerodynes on a whim, but that doesn't mean we won't be in control of them for some of the missions, quests, and street stories Night City has to offer. Aerodynes come in a variety of shapes and sizes, with many being manufactured by Militech and Arasaka. More traditional Aerodynes and flying cars have a cockpit with a distinct dropship aesthetic, although there are open cabin hovercraft-like designs like the Grumman Paladin and Arasaka Flanker. Next we have something you usually wouldn't think of first when vehicles come to mind. Assisted Combat Personnel Armor, or ACPAs for short, offer players the choice of stepping inside the hull of some powered armor that has increased carrying capacity, the use of heavy weapons, and the ability to withstand high impact damage. Powered armor again is heavily manufactured by Militech and Arasaka, with Arasaka's Bandit, Militech's Catfish, and the heavy firepower of Militech's Destroyer being choice picks for combating other heavy vehicles or incredibly powerful enemies in Night City. Full body conversions are similar to APCAs, but refer to people actually modifying themselves so much that they are the power armor versus stepping inside the armor. They have augmented themselves to the point where they're full cyborgs or borgs for short, and most likely completely consumed by cyberpsychosis. Next we have helicopters, ospreys, and airplanes. With the efficiency of aerodynes, flying cars, and hover vehicles in terms of fuel economy, and with traditional fueling methods being largely more expensive, there's been a shift from traditional flying methods to aerodynes. Airplanes in Night City are mainly used for cross-country transport. Helicopters are less expensive for hauling cargo, but are slower moving, and ospreys are a nice in-between mix of helicopters and airplanes used for shipping troops or cargo. Next up, we have superbikes and motorcycles in Cyberpunk 2077. We do see an Akira-styled superbike in the back alley scene with female V from the E3 trailer, and Kyle Rowley has also mentioned we will be getting Akira-esque bikes in the game. Now we haven't seen too much about bikes as they're even non-existent in any scenes with heavy car bustle from the gameplay demo, but rest assured vehicles like the Harley-Davidson horse, which features a Gatling gun on the side, the BMW Pirate monocycle, and Kawasaki Spartan X can potentially be in the game at launch. Finally, we have space travel and the potential to see some of that in the game. Orbital Space Travel is a mega corporation within Night City that offers orbital trips to the moon, and there was a leak a while ago referencing a mission to the moon as well. We may not be able to fly a space vehicle, but it can definitely be seen in the E3 trailer. Thanks for watching guys, and for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation and the Neon Arcade today.